what's going on guys welcome back to another class so in today's lesson i'll be taking you guys through how to achieve this five split screen using final cut pro 10 without any plugins you ready let's go so you already have your two videos on your timeline drag and drop the second video on top of the first video then go to your view side under view click on show horizon we want to see exactly where the center or the middle of the screen is then we'll start working on the first video the top video that we have you go to crop on your left side you start playing around it you drag it so as you can see already you already have your screen done for you so now later on you can go to your view click on show horizon to take it off and there you go guys you have the side by side split screen later on if you want to play around it and make it look cool this is what you do go to your generator inspector side over there we go to solid solid we choose custom we drag on our timeline make it the same length with the videos that we have let's cut this off click on your effect section side then search for mask choose shape mask drop it on your custom solids that we have let's close this now let's go to this side and play around the parameters over here with the curvature we change it to zero feather we change it to zero too let's make this small you click on this side and then you stretch upwards click on the sideways and then you bring it closer think this looks okay then you click on this side to remove the shape controls off the screen so as you can see we have the black borders in the middle of it later on you can go to your customs go to the first over here and change the color to any color you want now let's make it fit so we can see exactly how it looks like So with the second split screen we already have our videos on our timeline the second video on top of the first video then the same method that we did we go to view click on the show horizon so we see exactly where the center part is this time around we want to put the first video on top and then the second video down you see what i'm talking about so with the same thing you go to crop and then we play around the parameters so with the top video i'll start with the bottom part then you click on the down video, we we'll do the same. This time around, instead of playing around the parameters and the crop, we'll use the transform tool. This is what you do. Go to your Y position and drag it downwards so you can see his face. Now I can go to view and take the horizon off and see how it looks like. So as you can see, she's at the top, looks so cool. The same way, if you want to bring some border in the middle of the screen, you just go to your generators and the solids, you choose custom, you drag it on top of your video. Make it the same length with the videos that we have we cut this part off then you go to your effect section side you choose shape mask you drag it on the custom solids that we have you go to this side you play around the parameters curvature we change it to zero feather we change it to zero let's make the screen small so you can see exactly how it looks like then you click on the sideways and then you stretch it click on the top one drag it downwards let's make it fit now then let's click on this shape mask tool to remove it from the screen later you can go to your customs click on this side and change the color to any color you want and play and see how it looks like if you're really enjoying so far don't forget to subscribe down to see more videos like this all right let's go straight to it so with the third method we're going to use three videos for this the same method that we did you go to view under view you click on show horizon so we know exactly where the lines are on the screen you click on the first video you go to your transform side under scale or change it to 50 percent then you click on this box so you see exactly where the lines are we'll drag it to the top corner of this you click on the middle video you go to the transform side we change the scale of that to 50 percent too then we'll drag this then you click on the down video you can see the two videos are covering it so this is what you do you under transform you work on your x axis you just drag it to your right side click on done go to view and on take show horizon now let's play and see how it looks like So with the fourth method we are using four videos we already have the four videos on our timeline go to view click on show horizon so we know where the lines are on the screen then click on the first video or the top video you have go to your skill or change it to 50 percent click on the transform box and drag it to any corner part of the screen that you want it to be then you click on the third video we do the same thing with it we go to skill or we change it to 50 percent 
then we'll drag it to the other side then we'll click on the second video we'll do the same thing we we'll go to scale all we we'll change it to 50 percent then we'll drag it then click on the first video or the last video on your timeline we'll do the same thing with this we we'll change it to 50 percent and we'll drag it to this side of the screen click on done go to view on take the show horizon and now we'll see how it looks like now let's move to the fifth method that's the advanced one it's a bit tricky but i'll try my best to explain to you guys so with this the same way we go to view you we'll bring your horizon out so you can see exactly where the lines are on the screen and click on the first video the top video or the first video that you have go to your effect section side you search for shape mask you drag and drop on your top video that you have then with the curvature this is what you do click on the curvature you drag it to this side so you get a circle size that you want the feather will change it to zero let's make this small so we can get some room to work with then you drag the mask to this side click on the top part and expand it now as you can see the second video or the down video is showing instead of the top video so this is what you do click on the down video go to your transform side under position x you drag it to your right side then click on the first top video that you have go to your shape mask and click on the invert marks now click on the shape marks tool to remove it from the screen we go to view click on the show horizon to remove it from the screen too let's make this fit and see how it looks like later on if you want to bring some border lines on the screen the same way as we did with the first two method you go to your generator side go to your solids you choose custom you drag it on your timeline click on your customs go to the first side and change the color to any color you want we'll still maintain the sign click on the top video that we have command c to copy the effect click on the custom solids that we have shift command v to bring the video attribute out so we'll paste the exact effect that we have on the first video so with this we just want the shape mark so we'll click on that we'll click on maintain to maintain the exact keyframe that we have click on paste now drag the custom solids that you have in, into the middle of the two clips that we have as you can see it already shows over here now you play around the shape marks to get it to the exact shape that you want click on the shape marks to remove it from the screen make it fit and let's see how it looks like so there you go guys very simple and easy to achieve this effect if you really learn something from this and enjoy watching this don't forget to subscribe down to see more videos like this in the future i right, see you guys on the next one peace out